Alright. Alright. E oh no, I don't wanna cry. Oh, okay. <sighs> we kinda knew this was happening. We kinda knew this was gonna come. So I just found out two seconds ago I opened up Instagram after watching episode ten and Yeah. So if you guys didn't know Sorry, I have to break the news to you guys. Um, the show was just canceled. Wow, that's so weird to say. I kind of, when I was watching the last episode, I kind of expected it to happen. Like, because it was so perfectly wrapped. But at the same time, the Kuguet storyline was completely ignored in the last episode, so I don't... Mm -mm. But anyway, I've been receiving so many messages. I'm so overwhelmed right now by so many messages. All right, here we go. Anne with an E was just canceled. So basically, there's a squirrel in the thing. So season three is the final season of Anne. Apparently Netflix canceled the show. So I'm gonna read what Moira posted. Hello, my kindred spirits. Here's a Netflix poster for Anne with an E dropping January 3rd. Soon the world will see Anne with an E season three. As you can also see from this key arch, Netflix is announcing that this is the final season of our beloved Anne with an E. Sad but true, they think this season is brilliant and I hope you do too. Thank you for loving my shows much as I do. You'll always be my kindred spirit. Everyone is so... <laughs> Here is the poster, by the way. Everyone's so upset. I understand. This was going to be a different video. I was supposed to open Instagram and be like, now let's talk about the like theories that you guys had before episode 10. And now it's not gonna be that video, for now at least. I don't know what to think, cause I kind of expected it, but the, at the same time I was, I was just, I thought they would have five seasons. They didn't kill off Matthew, which I'm so shocked by. Cause every single adaptation, every single version of Anne, Matthew dies at the end. And then Diana is not supposed to go to Queens. Anne and Gilbert aren't supposed to kiss until they're like in their 20s, I think. Caguette wasn't saved. It's so weird. I don't know, it's so- uh, I guess it hasn't hit me yet that it's happening or that it's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Ugh. I- there's so many like posts and stuff. I'll probably do like a sad montage after this showing you guys what the cast have said about th this being the last season. I, don't, I haven't got on anything. Everyone's like messaging me right now and they're like, is it true? I guess it is. I don't know what to say. I honestly don't know what to say. I'm so awkward right now. <laughs> honestly, um, in terms of my own videos, I think I'm still- I mean, I've been planning to still release content about Anne of Green Gables and Lucy Mom Montgomery because that's something I'm still very interested in. I could obviously do other stuff as well. Like, I'll probably end up developing a new interest and find something else eventually, but right now I still really like the idea of having my channel surround uh, Lucy Ma Montgomery, Anne of Green Gables, Canadian um, television and novels, just, you know, because that's part of my identity, <laughs> so I really like that idea. Anyway, I know y'all are crying. I know. Ugh. I don't know why. When I when I found out that Girl Meets Roll was cancelled, I was a bawling mess. <laughs> this time it's just different. I don't know. I feel like I've- maybe I've grown. Maybe it doesn't affect me that much. Pro it will affect my channel, of course. Um, but for me, I think I kind of expected it, but also didn't. And it hasn't hit me yet. <laughs> like, it really hasn't. But when Girl Meets Roll was cancelled, I was a bawling mess. I couldn't stop crying. Uh, yeah, this time it's different. Definitely, but it's fine. I think I don't know y'all want the show to be saved and I don't know what to do I honestly I'm kind of like stuck. I Don't know what to think. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know if there's anything we can do Because if Netflix is like not on board. <clears throat> sorry if Netflix isn't on board then I, I don't know. I'm just I Don't know what to do <laughs> Thank you to everyone for watching my videos. This isn't the end for me because I still have my reactions to release. This isn't the end for my channel. So y'all have that comfort, I guess. Probably not very comforting. But thank you to everyone from Anne who have supported me and have watched my videos. And thank you for bringing us this show. 
because it's meant a lot to me over the last uh, two and a half years now and it's been great it's been very fun to review and react and theorize and predict stuff about the show it's been awesome <laughs> it's been so lovely to meet a lot of you guys as well and um, yeah I don't know what to say maybe I'll make like a project or something for you guys um, for you guys to say stuff about the show and how it's affected you and what the cast means to you all that stuff maybe I'll do that but right now these are just my initial thoughts about the show ending yeah <laughs> I'll read what Amy Beth said, actually, and then we'll end this. <laughs> Dear Anne, I don't think I was ever going to be ready to say goodbye, but as the saying goes, everything must come to an end. Thank you for teaching me, growing up with me, and loving me. I have taken so many part of who you are into my life. Anne has taught me how to be brave, be strong, how to love unapologetically, and how to approach so many different obstacles in life. She is so much more than words on paper. She's really part of who I am now, and I will carry her with me forever. I can't deny that I'm heartbroken, but more than that, I'm grateful. Such a large part of my childhood is documented, and what an experience to document. To the cast and crew, my second family, you put every part of your heart and soul into this project, and I promise you, it does not go unnoticed. Every single one of you has helped me shape me into the woman I am today. I can only hope I've made you proud in some way. You are all such remarkable people and I will never be able to thank you enough. Please stay in touch. And to you the viewers, the ones who have supported us these last few years, I can say this now but on those tough, cold, and stressful days just seeing what an effect the show has on you or how it made your day really push me through, I can say truthfully that those rough days were more than worth it for you. I will miss this show with all my heart and I will never forget this journey. My childhood was a good one thanks to all of you. The wise words of Moira Wally Beckett, I am so sad to see you go, and yet so happy that I know you. With all my love, Amy Beth. Wow. Oh, uh, no. Everyone's, like, talking about it. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, first of all, I just want to say, I guess the part about the indigenous storyline, the reason why it wasn't talked about is because Gugwet doesn't get saved in the end. That's part of history, that's part of what happened. But I wish they would have just talked about it more, like, uh, and just forgot about her, I guess. they Maybe they would have brought it up in season 4 if it had happened. I guess that's the end of this video. I don't know what to say, oh god, ugh. I'm so- I just need a minute, I need a minute to sit down and just- processes but <sighs> all right let me know in the comments below what you guys have to say about all of this what are your opinions do you guys think the show should have ended right now or do you guys have any thoughts about bringing it back maybe i don't know like i honestly don't have any words i probably will make a project though about um so that you guys can send in videos and stuff and make like a little going away present a goodbye a thank you appreciation video i think is much needed right now yeah i think i said everything i need to say thank you to everyone who has ever watched my videos it means a lot to me it really does i know it doesn't seem like i usually get very emotional when it comes to this stuff but i'm just very numb right now i'm so numb like very numb i can't believe that this happened but i'm gonna go now so thank you guys so much for watching and yeah Subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.
with an E slash and the series is having a season two and I'm so excited and I know I'm such a fangirl. I'm an 18 year old fangirl of Anne with an E. Hey guys, it's me, 1239 here, and I'm here to tell you guys that we're getting a season 3 of Anne with the Knee. Just because, like, a lot of you guys have come from watching Anne. I think the majority at this point know me as the girl that talks about Anne <laughs> in her YouTube videos. I'm just really grateful that we're gonna be back for another year, and we're gonna be able to stay close. We'll see where that takes us.